Okay, so I'm here with Keith Sapanen, who is the chair of the Department of Music and also a faculty member in the Music Department, Recording Arts Department. Mm -hmm. And um, he's going to be showing us how he's using Blackboard Drive to manage his course files more effectively than what he was doing before, just using um, Blackboard Learn in the browser. So, um, Keith, go ahead and, and show us, you know, what your process was just trying to get a file up there um, without Blackboard, and then we'll see what, what's different with the drive. Well, with just bringing up individual files, um, part of the issue is you bring up uh, files by themselves. You can either bring them up through uh, the content collection or bring them up as you're building um, through course content one file at a time. Okay, so one of the things that I might want to do is add an item uh, such as one of my lecture notes um, and outlines that the students would get to. So, um, uh, so in there, um, I will go and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it from this point here. Uh, and come in here to my course content here and go to my lectures folder here and I'm just going to do this lecture introduction item here and attach it as a PDF document and we'll just go ahead and submit it and at this point in time it's just doing this one item at a time so doing this I'm having to go one item at a time and I'd even be doing that in the content collection one at a time and then it's an organization of that uh, because where did the file go now that you've uploaded Correct. it? Correct, and that's that's the interesting thing in there. So I've got to go back over here into the content collection, um, go into the prep area, and see where that, that's at, and start seeing where that organization's at. So it just dumped it right there in the content collection, and it doesn't really give you the opportunity to say, I want it to be in a specific folder in my content collection, which I keep organized. Correct. And so the beauty of um, Blackboard Drive is it allows me to organize my files and folders much like I do on any hard drive um, and then upload them and put them and organize them uh, and, and drag and drop just like I would on any hard drive in multiple file stages. So that's the beautiful part about Blackboard Drive. So let's see what that what that looks like. Um, if you wanted to access this course through Blackboard Drive, um, okay, let's let's do that. And so if we go to Blackboard Drive here and open that up, let's oh, you see. know what? It's on the desktop. It has an icon too. There and we go. And here's Blackboard Drive. So when you open up Blackboard Drive, you log into it uh, just with your same username and and your portal ID and you can see that you're organized with all your courses prep areas and everything so that's, that's one, one folder per course there correct exactly so uh, here we're dealing with, and you can see right there is the uh, course that um, that we just opened up there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just open up a new uh, folder collection in the Finder um, and open up a hard drive here. Here's a content collection that I have for a course. And allows me, say, for instance, all these lect this lecture information that I have here, I can take and just drag and drop it like that. And now it's organized. Boy, that was fast. Into the course. And we're on Wi-Fi. And, and that was fast. And that's how quick it is to be able to organize your material and drag and drop it. So now if we go back into uh, the Blackboard area here, and we were to go over here and refresh this area here, uh, and go into the content collection we now see here's the lecture information here open up the information here and there's all the PDFs that I just uploaded 
So now being able to go into uh, uh, my content collection and my, if I don't select everything here, my course content, now to build a, a f item, I can go to lecture two. I can go browse content collection. Go to my lecture folder. I can so select something like listening. Submit. Submit. And everything is there. And it's that simple. Uh, and it's easy to organize and uh, keep everything organized in folders, files, and, and have everything there. Very easy to use. Now with that first lecture you had up already uploaded, if you wanted to reorganize it in the content collection, could you go into Blackboard Drive and just drag that file into the lecture folder? Yes. And it wouldn't break what the students see? Correct. So Blackboard would automatically just keep track of where that file right. is? Right. And then it's easy then to just uh, uh, drag and drop back to your hard drive and keep it organized on your hard drive then. Mm -hmm. and, and download it back onto your hard drive and keep it organized. And so let's say you update one of your lecture files or any of the other files that you put on your course. Um, how does, does Blackboard Drive handle that for you? Once you take in, if let's say you've uh, updated one of your lecture files on your your main computer, you drag and drop back onto your, let's say I updated this lecture file here on my main computer, drag and drop it onto Blackboard Drive, it puts it into that content collection, it updates it, and that's what the student sees is that updated file. So you don't have to rename the old you, one? No. It just replaces it. It just replaces it. Excellent. And it's, it's simple. And nothing's better than the keep it simple stupid method. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, thanks so much for showing us this. I think this will be uh, really helpful to uh, people who have a, a lot of files and want to keep things organized. Yeah, it's, it's the best method. Great. Thank you, Keith. Absolutely, Peter. Hi, I'm here with Scott Kodai, who is the manager of distributed learning technologies and is an instructor in the Department of Management. And he's going to be showing us today um, how he uses Blackboard Drive to manage files in his Blackboard Learn course. All right, Hello. Scott. So first we're going to look at how I did things the old way. So let's see, let's log in to learn here. We're going to assume that I have a syllabus I want to upload. Okay, so I've got a syllabus I want to upload. So my first step might be to go in here to my content collection and I'm going to see upload a file. All right, I'm going to browse to my computer. There's my syllabus. Got it uploaded. I've got some options here. I'm just going to leave them all the way they are. Click submit. And now I've got a, a syllabus file. So I'm going to go back to my home page here. And I'm going to add a file item. I'm going to go find that file. Select it. Name it something clever like syllabus. And click submit. And there we go. There's my syllabus. So I always like to check just to make sure that it is working. So let's open that file. It opens up in Word. And oh, I got fall 2011. I forgot to change. I copied my fall syllabus and forgot to change this. So it'll be real easy, right? I'll just go ahead and hit spring 2012 and hit save. And, oh, it's not going to save back into Learn. So I guess I have to save it to my desktop and then re-upload the whole thing. So let's find a better way to do this with BB Drive. First, we're going to come back here and, well, we'll just leave that file there. 
Let's go ahead and get connected to BB Drive. password. You only have to do this once. Once you have um, set it up and saved your password, it should it can be configured to auto-connect every time you connect to your computer. What it will do is it will map a network drive in your My Computer. So now on this computer, Drive F has all of my files from Blackboard Learn. So I'm going to close that and if I come in here I can see that there's the syllabus file I just uploaded. It would be pretty easy to just go ahead and edit that file now and save it, but I'm going to show you something even cooler. Back here in Learn I can scroll down to the content collection and go find that file. So there's the file now. I'm going to click that file again open it up, make my change, and hit save, and then close it. So that's different than the last time that you clicked on it. That's very different than the last time. Last time it asked us where we wanted to save the file, as if you were pulling it down from the web. Exactly. What it did there is it saved directly back to, to learn. So this file now, if I go back to my, my content page, where the students will link it when I click the link and open it, it's actually been edited. It actually has saved the file directly back into Learn without having to download it, change it, save it on my computer, upload it again, overwrite the existing file, all of that mess that you used to have to do. So let me show you one other nifty thing. I have this other file here that's on my, on my computer that I created that I want to upload to Learn because I want to get to share it with my students. Instead of having to go upload it to Learn, where's the file menu? Ah, there we go. I have a file menu on my computer. I just want to save it as a Word document. And I'm just going to browse down here to my F drive, which is where my courses live. And I'm going to find my course, my prep area, browse in there. And uh, I could even say make a new folder here and call it uh, Documents. Go into that Documents folder, save my file directly there. So now, when I go back into Learn, I can easily add that file by just browsing to the file thing, browse the content collection, there's my documents folder I created. There's that income statement formulas file I just uploaded. I can name it whatever I want. Let's call it income. And there's that file that I had on my computer just moments ago. The nice thing about this is from then on I can browse to my F drive. I can go look at the documents folder. I can open the file directly, make a change, resave it, and the file is automatically saved back up to learn. Can you rename it? Yes, you can. Let me go find my file. Let's see what happens. I'll, I'll go to Documents. Let's rename this file and we'll be clever. Make a new name. Go back into Learn and see what happens. Well, the file still links. So even though I renamed the file, Learn still knows where it is and what it's called. So students can still see it. I didn't break anything in my course. I can rearrange it and, I, and organize my files however I'd like. Well, that seems really easy. Seems like it a does. huge improvement. I, it's one of my, my new favorite things about Learn. I highly recommend that everybody download it and install it right away. Okay, and uh, where can Chico faculty go to get Blackboard Drive? Well, so the easiest place to do it is to go to the Faculty Support tab. 
and you'll see a linked list of resources. Click on the Blackboard Drive link, and then you can scroll down. You can look at the instructions on how it works, and there's a link right here to the file. So when you click there to log in, you'll choose the, the operating system that you use. Um, if you're using Windows, you'll use one of these two. If you're using a Mac, you could just use this one. Click in there. There's a single setup that uh, you just download and install. Once you install it, you just log in with your username and password, and it will map to your drives. Okay. Thank you so much for showing us that. You're very welcome.